Hello everybody, I make levels here and welcome to my third source tips and tricks video. This one is gonna be short. Here we are, a happy-go-lucky designer, throwing together a nice little test unit. This is actually for my lighting unit. And we placed an awesome rock here. And it's a great looking rock, but it's too big and it is poking into the void. And uh, you know, this happens a lot. It happens a lot with um props that you have throughout a mod. So what do you think is going to happen to this? Let's take a quick look. All right, and here we are. We're shooting zombies. Pew pew, we're having a good time. But oh no, our model is purely black. It is, I, I guess you can kind of tie, see tiny little bits of texture there. But it is, for all intents and purposes, completely unlit. Even though it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of dark in here, but it's a lit environment. So how do we fix this? And I see this a ton in a lot of mods, in a lot of mods that, oh, hey zombies, I see this a lot in a lot of mods that are otherwise pretty solidly decent. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. So here we are back in Hammer. So you don't need to do anything to the rock at all. Uh, all you need to do is add an entity called Info Lighting. And this, uh, you do need to name it, so we're going to name this Super Awesome Rock Lighting. Please do not name it things like this. It is silly and unnecessary, but you can name it whatever the hell you want. Follow your heart. So, what we're going to do here is the model is going to draw lighting as if the entity here of the info lighting is the origin point instead of right now the origin point is under the world you can see right there that red x i believe that's the origin point it is in the void that's why it's all black so we get our little info lighting thing and as long as this thing is not outside the world it should be okay so let me just move this out here it is there we're gonna save we're gonna run again and the rock will magically be lit. It's not really magic, it's just code stuff. And here we are. I turned off the director so I don't get zombies. Oh dear god, it didn't save. Balls. Okay, I know what I did. I know what I did. And I'm going to leave this in here because I know what I did wrong. I done effed up. So what you need to do is, on the model, the lighting origin right here. This needs to be, this is faster than typing in super awesome rock lighting, but you need to set that as the lighting info target, and then you run it for realsies this time, and then everything will be okay. And here we are. And look at that. Our rock is wonderfully lit. You can't really tell that it's a different lighting target or anything. You are free to use one info lighting entity for multiple props, so if you have a rock there, a rock there, a rock there, a rock there, a hundred rocks, wherever. You can all have them use the same entity. Um, I wouldn't really recommend using, you know, all entities within a level using the same target because it might look weird depending on where you are. But if, uh, you know, you have like ten different things all in the same area, it's perfectly fine to use one info lighting. So there you go. No more excuses for solid black models in your maps. Get to it. Get fixing stuff. Thanks for watching. That's going to be it for now. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.